So the sneakers I'm wearing right now are going to be the shoes that LaMelo Ball wears his rookie season in a few weeks. These sneakers right here, the best basketball shoe of 2020. Get off me. And more importantly, they're very comfortable. That's the one. What is going on Dream Crew family? Welcome back to another video here on Crew Sember. If you guys did not know, we are uploading a new video every single day for the month of December. For every day that I don't upload a video, I'm gonna be giving away a pair of sneakers. So this is definitely something that y'all wanna pay attention to in case I mess up. But guys, today we're gonna be talking about the sneaker that LaMelo Ball will be wearing when the NBA season starts. He already wore this shoe during his media day as well as when he's just been playing some pickup games. And we're talking about the Puma Clyde All Pros. Now, although this video is going to be sponsored by Puma and Dick's Sporting Goods, I promise you guys that I'm gonna be 100% honest with my opinion on this shoe. And to be honest with you guys, I'm just gonna get right into it. This is one of the best basketball shoes of 2020. Now, this is the original colorway that they sent me, but I'm also gonna be showing you guys a very special edition of the shoe, which is right here. So, uh, you know what? We gotta introduce these in the right way. So, let's do another unboxing. <laughs> Hooper in the North Pole. Buddy the Elf. All right, this is Papa Q the Elf. Let's get it. Hey, this man's real dressed like an elf right now. <laughs> bro, that, that man looks look like, like a clown. clown bro. Bro. Let's go, bro. As you guys can see, we've got the e.l.f. colorway of the Puma Clyde All Pro. These are currently available right now on Dick's Sporting Goods, so I'm gonna link it down below. Guys, don't sleep on this shoe. These are gonna pop on court. Like, I just put them on my feet, and I was I looked down, and I was like, yo, these are sick on feet, and I'm gonna go over all the little details. But yeah, just basically for the people who are wondering about the actual hoop review of this shoe, when I first saw them in hand, I thought they were gonna be too high off the ground. I'm someone who likes to play low to the ground. Just seeing it right here, I thought that this was gonna just be way too high and I was not gonna be comfortable playing in them but as soon as I put them on my foot sunk in there and it just felt so good and I just felt so comfortable now I did not play like pickup game kind of injured but I just shot around I did a little bit of a workout I was able to get a real good feel for the shoe and I could tell right off the bat these are gonna be great when I actually start playing five on five games again the upper of the shoe was great I had no stress on my feet sometimes when you play with new shoes you really got to break them in and there's certain parts of the shoe that just hurt your foot these did not give me any complications one of my favorite things about the shoe which is i don't know if i'm the only one that loves this on basketball shoes the tongue like do a lot of people actually care about the tongue on a basketball shoe i don't know i feel like this is the perfect amount of cushioning on the tongue it just it, it felt good on my leg like it sounds weird but for me like the tongue is like one of the most important parts if it doesn't sit right on your foot i can't play good like i probably can't play good regardless but if the tongue's uncomfortable I'm playing even worse. Now let's just go over the little details of the shoe. First of all, on the tongue of the shoe, we've got Buddy the Elf's belt and kind of like his outfit with the Puma logo. Obviously the whole colorway just looks like his outfit, so that's a given. Let's go to the back right here. You got Buddy the Elf's hat. And if you actually love the movie Elf, then you know exactly why they put syrup inside of a bowl of spaghetti on the back of this shoe. Other tie-ins to the Elf movie, obviously candy canes on the sock liner. That was a really good touch. As you can see, we got another Buddy the Elf reference on the inside well, actually let me just take the insoles so y'all can see the insoles ah sneakerheads cringe when we take the insoles out of the shoes but sometimes you gotta do it for the review ah here we go and then on the insole on this shoe you got the little whale that says bye to buddy before he goes and tries to find his dad in the guys you got to watch the movie elf so it's really dope that they did it on one of the best shoes of 2020 for the basketball court now i don't know if Melo actually plays on christmas day but if he does or if he plays like the day before or something like that he's definitely going to be rocking these shoes on court and i'm being honest with you guys like this is a great all-around basketball shoe for a really great price the price point on this shoe is not bad at all and uh yeah man don't sleep on buddy the elf so yeah these are a 
available right now, Dick's Sporting Goods. Like I said, I'm gonna leave the link down below if you guys wanna pick these up. I've been playing in these a lot. As you guys can see, I've been just like working out and shooting it around in these a lot. I kinda wanna keep these nice, so I'm probably gonna save these for indoor basketball and this will be like my outdoor basketball shoe because these ones are just like, these are gonna break next, man. People are gonna see those and be like, damn, you look, you look like an elf on the court. Obviously, I'm not gonna wear that full outfit when I play basketball, but all right, guys, so that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Kind of a quick one here today. A huge shout out to Puma and Dick's Sporting Goods for sending these over so that I can show them to you guys. Tomorrow we are uploading Sneakerheads Be Like Part Nine. It feels like I've been hyping this episode up forever, but it's almost time, guys. If you're excited, please smash the thumbs up button. With all that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one, and I'm out of here. Hello? is gonna be rocking these when the season starts. Where's your buckets at? You left them at home or what? It's an air ball. Trash. What does that take, five or six? Five. All right, pause it. Pause it? Yeah. You made that? <laughs>